we're going to continue with checking the manual override system and making sure that that is greased properly. Taking a 10 millimeter box wrench, we can loosen the dr rope drum fastener, remove the keyed rope drum, and that exposes our greased dog clutch system to the emergency override. We're just doing a, a quick inspection of the emergency override dog clutch system. There's two conical shaped springs. They're seated in a bed of, uh, of lithium grease. These seem to be well greased and in position. We'll line it back up. There's a couple of gussets on the underside of the rope drum. You have to be sure that those gussets line up with the shouldered gussets of the dog clutch. We put the keyed rope drum back in place and you will know that you've, you've installed it correctly if you feel that spring-loaded tension. If I install it incorrectly, there is no spring loading and you will have no manual override. We're going to line them up. There's the spring tension we need. Put it all back together. And now we'll give it a test. We'll release the clutch. Flat out some chain. the handle and the emergency socket hole, draw forward and back. Manual override is working perfectly. In case of a power failure, this is an emergency handle. It doubles as the clutch tensioner on the three-prong wing nut. There we have it. Good till next year. Thank you for your time.